What's going on guys, Josh Pocock here, and in today's video, we're going to be looking at an open source, free alternative tool that you can sell post. It's alternative to tools, maybe like Claude Artifacts or V0 for coding. We all know coding with AI is pretty much on the up and up right now, and it's really just impressing us every single week with new advancements, new tools coming out. And the tool we're going to be looking at today is called Llama Coder. Let's dive right into it. All right, guys, so this tool actually very, uh, impressed me quite a lot. Basically, um, you know, just looking at it, be, basically because one, it has a completely free version uh, cloud hosted. So this is something that's cool. Um, I'm going to show you how to self-host it in just a bit. But first off, let's take a look at the fully um, free cloud version we have right here. And this is cool because, you know, I, I personally love cloud artifacts. I love V0. But these are tools, um, you know, that have like V0 is free, but then you have to pay for it. And then Claude is just to get artifacts. I believe you have to pay for it. Um, yeah, I don't think they do artifacts on the free tier. I don't know, but pretty much you have to pay for it. And it's really good. I'm going to continue using it. But for those of you who want a free alternative or want to use um, these local type models, um, even though we're not, you know, using our own Olama, um, we got Llama 3.1, 405B, so the 405B version, and then Llama 3.170B, and then Gemma 227B, okay? And yeah, first off, this is a really nice UI, and it's made by our friends at uh, Together AI. If you're not familiar with Together AI, I've used them in other videos. They're actually a really good tool. Um, yeah, they're, they're a really useful tool. Like, I've used them with Continue Dev in VS Code uh, to be able to use Llama 3.1, 405B in VS Code. But uh, simply put, let's just do a quick demo here. Let's just say, um, build me a modern, hmm, let's just say, um, task manager app that has some pretty cool features. Okay, of course, just like when you're doing any type of prompting, whether it's Claude, ChatGPT, Whatever the case may be, you want to be more descriptive than this. You typically, like for me, I always like to get very nitty gritty, if, especially if I'm using it for coding in terms of what I want and what features and capabilities, all that good stuff. But uh, here we can select the model. We'll just do the 405B version. And then, then th this is really cool as well. This is pretty much like what every um, AI component type model is doing now is incorporating with Chad CN UI. If you're not familiar with Chad CN, it's like pretty much the hottest UI that every dev is using um so yeah we'll just toggle that on because why not we like shad cm and this is really cool wow this is actually very i mean this is really cool because if you're using like a llama and a local model it's just, unless you have some crazy specs it's going to be kind of slow right but as you can see here this is extremely fast all right this is extremely fast we're using a open source or a local model whatever you want to call it and then we have the UI right here. So we can literally see it. We can see, you know, it's nothing crazy, but it's actually not too bad. We have task manager. So like we can add new task, test, and let's say medium. Boom. So it actually worked. We got a test here and add another one. Hi. Boom. Um, let's see if we can delete. It works. Okay. I want, so we can actually make changes to the app. Let's say if based on the priority priority the user x add a flag beside the task red yellow or green depending on the priority and um yeah we'll just keep it at that for now just you know Obviously, I would make this a little bit more advanced if I was actually going to use it, but just for the sake of things, like, this is actually very impressive. This is free, guys, so um, I don't know if there's some, any sort of rate limit. Okay, so, so this is, um, okay, so it's importing a component that we don't have, which is this right here. Um, it's trying to import 
uh select content okay maybe um okay so to be honest i'm having some trouble doing the iteration on it with this right here as you can see or as you guys saw i was getting that error with the you know not able to import a component that's not there uh and now it's just pretty much not that it doesn't seem it's like the best at iterating maybe it's just this specific one um but yeah what i personally would do is you can open it in sandbox so i really like this feature how you can open it in this code sandbox.io and let's see if it works any better here okay so still similar issue um i do like how it's black now for some reason whatever reason but um i, I think this is really awesome that you can take a look at code sandbox you can see package.json the css uh, typescript config uh index public index libraries so pretty cool stuff um what i if like you know if i was still in, encountering this issue on a regular basis when it comes to iterating then what i probably would do is generate the first code um the minimal viable code or whatever the uh iteration of re version one with llama coder and if i need to improve upon it more maybe throwing that code over into something like chat gpt or claude sonnet or whatever the case is um if you want to do some iterations to it let's try one more real quick all right so here i said create a calendar app that is modern all right um it's a little bit cut off here i don't know if that's just responsiveness issues um let's just say you okay so use the abbreviation of the day and make it so i can add events to days with time slots and names okay, let's see how it does with iterating this okay so here's what we got test time tuesday okay so i mean it did add the new iteration but it pretty much removed kind of like the whole concept that we had before it was still so still supposed to look like a calendar um so yeah in terms of iterating it's you know it is not the greatest it's not as good as claude by any means um you could go publish app here so this means it's published and copied to your clipboard okay so that means you could share that um but anywho let's go ahead and actually self-host this all right so a few things you're going to need to self-host it um we're going to use git clone you're going to need a together ap ai api key so uh, make sure you get that i believe there's like free ten dollar credits or whatever so it should be free at least as when i got it it was free and at the time of recording this video you can get set up there you don't have to put your credit card in or anything i believe and then you're also going to need node um yeah this is built on i believe it's using next.js i'm assuming and let's see yeah prisma next.js so yeah all you're going to do is we are going to git clone the repo right here so i'm just going to run this command in the terminal so i got my terminal here go cd desktop and then cd development and then cd repos okay i'm going to git clone llama coder you can see we just cloned it now i'm going to cd into llama coder okay now i am going to code dot so that's going to open up the folder in vs code and then right here where we have our environment dot example environment variable i'm just going to rename this to dot env and you could use this helicone api key this is for observability I'm not going to do that we're just going to use together ai so we're just going to bring this over here and grab my api key right here paste that in and save it on the other screen Okay, so i just did that and once we're done that we can basically just run npm install so i'm going to pull that up 
I'm going to open up the terminal here. And I'm going to run npm install in Llama Coder. I'm going to start installing the dependencies. Okay, so everything's good with that. So then I'm just going to go npm run dev. And this should start things up on localhost 3000 if that port's available. I may be using that right now, so it may go to 3001. Yep, 3001. Let's just open that bad boy up. And if everything went well, it should load no problem. Cross our fingers. Okay, it took a little bit just to uh, from a cold start, but here we have it. First off, UI is really great. Um, yeah, I'm genuinely impressed with this tool. It's a lot better than some of the other kind of like, um, uh, what do you call it? Cloud, cloud artifact alternative tools that we covered here in terms of open source. It's made by Together AI. So they're a big company. They know what they're talking about. They know what they're doing when it comes to AI. And I really like the chat CN integration. I really like this whole thing. Um, honestly, if there's no rate limit on the free version, may just make sense to use a free version but let's go ahead and since we have free together ai credits and yolo let's go ahead build a modern calculator app okay i doubt yeah it shouldn't i am assume it wouldn't have the actual functionality but let's go ahead and see if i can get the component and the ui looking pretty nice this is the open source version like this is I mean, so obviously we're using together AI's API, but boom, lightning fast. Really like it. That's what I love to see. Six times five. Where's our equals button? Did it not put the equals button? Come on, man. Oh, that's the equals button. Six times five. Wow. Okay, it has the functionality and everything. Interesting. Wow, I'm pretty impressed. Um, and then I really like how you can just go right directly into codesandbox.io, go into the editor, see it live. And yeah, I think this is definitely a useful tool. I'm really, you know, I'm, I love seeing these these new AI tools, these new open source AI tools. Um, I love the whole claw artifacts feel, you know, the V0 feel to these apps. Um, and yeah, it's pretty awesome. So let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below, guys. Let me know if this is a, you know, if you think this is a good worthwhile app or you have a, a better idea. Do you have a, you know, another app that you prefer? Let me know what you guys use when you are coding out your apps or whatnot. And if there's any other app or, you know, open source repo or whatever the case may be that you want me to do a video on or cover, or if you have any questions or issues about installing this or following along with the video, let me know in the comments down below, guys. Uh, uh, if you did enjoy this uh, content, you know, and you're new to the channel, then um, and you you know want to stay along with the journey, stay up to date with our daily uploads, then definitely hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Also, too, guys, if you haven't already joined our free community, StrideCommunity.com, our free Facebook group, free Discord channel, bunch of free resources are going to be added in there, behind the scenes stuff as well as you can network with like-minded individuals as well as myself. Definitely check that out, StrideCommunity.com. Other than that, guys, I will see you in tomorrow's video. Keep hustling, keep grinding, and of course, guys, accelerate your stride. Take care.